So I think this is my biggest empties yet. Just my usual hair care, body care, skin care, candles. This, this is not the top that comes with this candle. How, what? <laughs> um, oh, yummy. So this is actually a wee candle I got from Ikea and it, it, it literally says nothing on it. Um, oh, and still nothing. It smells beautiful. I don't know what that is. It smells, it just smells really, really nice actually. It nearly smells like a perfume, like a really nice sweet perfume or body butter or something. Then I went through this other me candle and this is Black Fig and Neroli and this is by a Spanish <coughs> candle company. This one just smelled beautiful in TK Maxx, that's where I got it. And I sometimes find that whenever you're in TK Maxx, and you're smelling candles because you've smelt so many your nose is just confused with there's so many scents going on and then when you actually come home you actually smell the true scent of the candle i don't know whether that's just me or not but this definitely smelled different in tk maxx to what it smelled like whenever i came home but i still really liked it it actually smells like like a perfume and i'm literally sitting here trying to like talk crap so i can eventually think of the perfume no, it's not coming to me. A couple of boring things that we didn't really care about too much, do we? I went through a hairspray, I went through a hair gel, um, shower gel. <laughs> do you know what? I'm literally just after filming, um, like a life update, chit chat, get ready with me. That will be my next video, by the way, with this makeup trial. And my desk is a mess. This is from First Day Beauty and this is their Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. Now, this is empty because I did pour it down the sink. I used it once, didn't like the smell of it, and then I poured the rest of it down the sink. It's a bit of a waste, yes, but no. Do you know what? I'm, I'm kind of a wee bit mad at myself at the fact that I didn't actually give it a chance because... It was like a milky toner, like the colour of it was milky, it was, it wasn't thin but it wasn't necessarily thick, it had a really nice like watery-ish serum-like consistency and it was just, it did soothe and it did nourish my skin but the smell of it, the smell of it just completely put me right off. I would say if I really did like it and it done wonders for my skin, it would put me past the smell of it. Um, but I didn't even give it that chance to be honest. <laughs> a Kudli Serum, Vinyl Perfect Serum. It's just like a wee travel size one. I have to say I absolutely love Kudli. Kudli would actually be my favourite, well one of my favourite skincare brands. Everything I've tried from the brand I absolutely love from their serums, oils, toners, cleansers. I love this wee serum in particular. I love it as like a bit of a prep. Not only as a prep for like foundation and makeup and stuff, but just as a nice wee serum in along with my skin skincare routine because it just provides the skin with the nicest like wee radiant glow to it. It's also like a correcting serum as well so it's not only hydrating, moisturising, nourishing, doing all of the above but it's also providing your skin with a bit of radiance but it's also working its skincare benefits as well. It's just all, all around her a great wee serum. I have bought the full size of it quite a few times actually. Bioma? I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> this is the Moisturising Gel Cream. I was expecting to love this. And this is a gel cream moisturiser, which I love. But it was all right. It was all right. I did take it to Bali with me and I did use it, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> I've just tried better. It was just a very mediocre moisturiser. I went through the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I absolutely love hyaluronic acid. I do go through quite a lot <laughs> because I'm always like on the hunt for like the perfect hyaluronic acid. The one that I'm using at the minute is from, is it Vichy? Vichy? Yeah, that brand anyway. And it's also a really, really nice, but the one before that was this one. And do you know what? Some hyaluronic acids, I feel like they're very, very similar, but I'm just always in the hunt for like that perfect one, aren't we all? Like, but yeah, this was very, very nice. And I like to actually mix in my hyaluronic acid with my moisturizers. So say for example, I was taking a couple of pumps of this, I would then do one squirt, 
one and a half depending on how moisturizing I know the moisturizer is and I will mix the two of them together. I was kindly gifted not that long ago actually these products from Makeup Revolution. I got the shampoo and conditioner. I also got the hair mask which I took to Bali used up in Bali and binned it in Bali and then I also got the 4D Restore Hair Oil so it kind of came in a big bundle. These are the Bond Plex Shampoo and Conditioner. These are two, it's for all hair types but it just is, um, but it just helps to restore, strengthen and condition the hair. Basically I feel like these are very similar or they're supposed to be a bit of a dupe for the Redken Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, what's it called? Acidic, uh, the acidic bonding concentrate stuff. And so that's actually the shampoo and conditioner I use anyway. So it was nice to be able to have these to compare to. And if you have the money, the disposable income to buy the Redken, because it is very expensive, get the Redken. But if not, these are a really good alternative. They're, they're nowhere near similar in my opinion and that's just how I feel about them. But they still were a really nice shampoo and conditioner. Like the shampoo obviously, it, like the shampoo of course, shampooed and washed my hair. It was grand, it was fine. And the conditioner was really nice as well. It obviously left my hair feeling really nice and manageable, tangle free and whatnot. But here's the thing. I kind of feel like hair care is very similar to skincare. I feel like you need to be consistent in using products to actually see um, results. So I kind of feel like if I bought another set of these or another pair of these and I started using them again, I might see more of a difference. These were quite nice. Like I definitely would say if you were on a budget, I would recommend them. I actually really, really, really did like the hair oil. I find that it was actually really nice to use and it wasn't heavy or greasy. Don't get me wrong, if you use a shit ton of it, yeah, you're heavy greasy. But I just find it really, really nice to actually use during the day. Like on my ends, if I had my hair in a ponytail and I was plaiting it, I would have just done a couple of drops through my hair, gave it a wee bit of a plait, left it in throughout the day. And it just was really nice. The only thing I didn't like about it was the smell because it smells like apple. Oh yeah, that's another thing actually. Everything smelled like apple. I think it was apple. I do not do apples. Apple scented things, apple flavors, apples in general. Ugh. But yeah, like overall, it was a really, really nice wee hair oil. It was grand. But that's all I have to say about that. And it has took me so long to go through this serum. Mainly because it's very, very expensive. <laughs> very very expensive and it's also one of the nicest serums so it's like ugh, once I go through this I'm gonna have to repurchase it. It's by the brand Espa and it is their optimal skin pro serum. Intense nourishment for radiant skin. This was lovely. This was the nicest serum <laughs> or like oil. I'm not I'm, yeah. I would say it was more of an oil to be honest. It comes with a weed dropper and everything. You see, it just smells so nice. It just smells expensive, you know? This was everything that you would ever want and more in an oil. If you're somebody that uses an oil, I know maybe if you have oily skin, you maybe tend to stay away from oils, but don't get me wrong, like I feel like if you do have oily skin, sometimes it's nice to actually introduce an oil maybe once or twice a week into your skincare routine. It does say here that it is a intensely nourishing serum. I would say it's an oil. It technically is an oil, by the way. To strengthen the skin's natural moisture barrier and to help the skin tone while enhancing el elastic elasticity. <laughs> to help minimize the early signs of aging and it's also for all skin types as well but yeah it was lovely I don't you know I don't really know what else I have to say about it it made my skin look lovely but yeah it was just a really nice oil she's <laughs> like if you want to go and read out about it have we news about it we know a wee bit know more about it google it because <laughs> you're not going to get much from me <laughs> I'm honestly like the worst person when it comes to like describing skincare. It's just like it worked. So this is the Augustinus Bedar The Rich Cream. 
and me. <laughs> this is so expensive. This is the travel size. It's 15 mil and I think this is like 70 plus pounds. I think the bigger size is like well into the 100 pounds or whatever. But this, god damn it. <laughs> Honestly, if you're going to get the Call Beauty Advent Calendar, keep an eye out for this. It's honestly so, so good. And I think is it maybe in another Advent Calendar? this year that I've seen maybe. I don't know, somebody can correct me off that. But this is the nicest moisturizer. Again, I kind of feel like I need to say it if you have oily skin. Not too sure how well you would get on with this, but me having dry skin, I loved this. One thing I didn't like about it though was, um, I wonder if I got any left. Oh, there's a wee pump. Um, it kind of, felt and looked but definitely the feel of it felt as if you were actually rubbing this now this is going to sound horrific and it can't trust me it is um it kind of feels as if you're rubbing pva glue into your skin it just has that feel and i feel like if you have this you'll maybe understand where i'm coming from just it just feels like pva glue and i don't know why but the more and more that you start to massage it in it's just nearly as if it breaks down to like a serum it's beautiful like it definitely is like a thick rich cream hence the rich cream it's called that but it just looks beautiful on the skin. I also took this to Bali with me and this was the moisturizer that I would have used like say sometimes like every other morning but every evening this was the moisturizer I would have used and then like every other morning this was the other moisturizer I used and Kyle would have used this as well actually. More so I was like use this one yeah this is great use this. Whereas if he touched this you best believe I would have him in a headlock around that room <laughs> like even on my hand like my hand just looks delicious absolutely you can literally see how nice that has made my skin look like it just looks beautiful like once it's actually like nicely moisturized in the skin and your skin just looks so glowy and so dewy and i love it i absolutely love it so that is it guys that is everything <laughs> tomorrow i will hopefully have this makeup look upload it for you <laughs> and it's just like a wee a chit chat get ready with me life update what's going on talking about ballet all that good stuff so keep an eye out for that and other than that thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one